What? Stop shrugging! The menu was limited. It read, no food today. Huh. I didn't care. I'd lost my appetite somewhere over the Irish Sea. Oh, this is kind of sad looking. It looks like that they might have had, you know, a complete set of these round window things and through the years, through all the bar fights, they've just had to give them up. Let's go downstairs for no reason. We haven't spoken to anyone yet? Oh, it's locked. I tugged at the trap door, but it was locked from the inside. But how weird would that have looked to someone? Oh, this man just arrived. Wait, wait, why is he going into our basement? Why, why is he touching our grate? I just, I don't understand. I took hold of the grating and pulled hard, but it didn't move. Oh, hi, dude. Oh, hi. Hi there. What? What's your name, kid? Who uh, are you calling, kid? Who the hell are you? Just a very short Irish man. Um, I, I, I'm Lobin. Uh, oh, I'm Russo. Russo's the name. Murder's my game. Ew. Are you a detective? Let's just say I'm here to find the truth. <laughs> just like on the telly. Cut the crap and tell me your name. Liam McGuire. Liam. What are you doing hanging around the bar, McGuire? I'm on the run from me dad. You look like Why? an old man, Is though. Bad? I ain't done nothing, boss. You can tell me, kid. Is it your dad? Oh, sir. He drinks every last penny down his evil throat. <laughs> and there's me poor old mother, bedridden and dying of presumption. <laughs> presumption. <laughs> Chopped firewood for father Mahoney till the fingers bled. The old skin flint cheated me too. But I took the pennies he gave me back home. Look, Aww. ma, says I. See what your darling son has earned with his own sweat and blood. When suddenly, me dad appears and grabs the loot. Yes, yeah, sure. This. I'm off to Dublin, heavy drinking, says he. Watch out till I get back. Y That's why I runned away. Something in the grin on his face told me he wasn't being strictly truthful. Compared yeah. to him, Huckleberry Finn was a candidate for Altar Boy of the Year. Well, he was. Do you know a man called Pegram? Can you describe him like on the telly in the cop shows? He's an English archaeologist. I know the man you mean if he's the one. <laughs> Can you tell me where I'd find Pegram? No, I can't because he's not here now. But if I seize him, I'll ask him. Oh, you're a bastard. Do you know what Pegram was doing in the castle? Digging for buried treasure. Jewels and, and gold and, and skeletons. skeletons. Like in the films. films. Like in the films. Do you know anything about Pegram's dig? Well, you he wouldn't on it. let me anywhere near it. Aww. I offered to help, but he chased me off. Funny I didn't that. want to see his smelly old hole anyhow. Ooh! Could be read completely differently. Did anyone from the village work at the dig? Pegram bought some students, some bums with him. Oh, goodness. He reckoned no one in Loch Marne would know what to look for. It's all bums and holes with you. The guy who worked for him was Sean Fitzgerald. Oh. What does this Fitzgerald guy look like? Big head, big ears, and face irons. What? Face irons? No. Specky ah. tackles. Glasses. He's blind as a bat without him. Ah, I see. What can you tell me about the castle, McGuire? What do you want to know? Monkeys. Well, can I get inside? No. It's locked up. Does oh. anyone live there? No. No. It's Only locked up. What? what? Oh, nothing. Ghosts? Ghosts? You know something about the castle. You're not telling me, don't you? No. What is it you're covering up? Is it something you're scared of? I ain't scared of nothing. Well? I'll give you one last chance to tell me about the castle. Oh, yeah? And what if I don't? Then I'm taking you back to school. Oh. <laughs> he There's doesn't... a ghost. Well, he doesn't it's look... It's called the Phantom of Loch Man. That's nice, but you don't look old enough for school, do you? Have you, you seen look a like guy an old man a clown? with you're a hat. You're in Loch Man. They all dress like clowns. You sound the man like you're in I'm your looking 30s. looking for is a dangerous psychotic. Jesus. It's just like that film I saw. Oh, God. This clown see. And he's after this kid who saw him kill a guy. Oh, he thank goodness it wasn't the it. Sheriff, only no one believes him. Then, while he's in the tub, 
The clown cuts him up with a chainsaw. Oh, lovely. My God. That doesn't sound suitable for a kid like you. Who are you calling a kid? I'm 25. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not a day over 14. He's probably a jockey. Oh, no, it's 25 that I am. Married with a car and three kids. I'm Ten just... kids if you count the wives. <gasps> oh. So You're not telling me you believe in ghosts, are you? Well, Mr. we are an I've island. I've seen it with my very own eyes. Last Tuesday night, I went up to see what that dig was about. And I, I saw a banshee. I the top of the wall when I hears this awful noise. What sort of noise? A horrible snuffling and snorting, like O'Brien's pig, only worse. Huh, right worse. It was coming from inside the castle. <gasps> Sakai Blue. Did you find out what was making the noise in the castle? No fear. I just sat there on the wall like Humpty Dumpty. The moon was cracked and greasy like an old dinner plate. Ew. The yard was full of shadows. I could have been hiding anything. Ew. I would have gone home. But my legs had lost their stuffing. Did you get to see the ghost? Ooh. Indeed I did. <gasps> and a fearsome sight it is too. It is? I sat on my ass, waited while the moon went down. Then out it comes from the shadows, Ooh. all grey and tattered and hunched over like an old bent willow. Hmm. Then I hear this spluttering and splashing and horrible laughter in the dark. Hmm. I was so scared. Why well, I fell off the bloody wall. Oh, like the real Humpty Dumpty. I'm sure there's a rational explanation for what you saw at the castle. Yeah, someone dressed up in a suit. The bloody place is haunted. The ruddy place. Let's ask you about my inventory. Have you ever seen anyone wearing one of these? That belongs to the killer clown you're looking for. Yes. That's right. Can I have it? No. Sorry. I'm keeping this as evidence. Don't be a brat. You should run tests on that, mister. You can mm. identify the murderer with a Ew. sample of his snot. It's all... Look, I don't think so. It's all bodily fluids with you, isn't it, kid? Have you ever seen this man before? What a slimy character. No. Nope. I never seed him. Seed him? Ah. Take a look at this, Maguire. <sighs> hmm. It's an ID card. What of it? Ever heard of Thomas Merlin? Moyland. Or the Gruber Electronics Corporation? Moyland. No. Huh. Thanks. What about the tool? What do you think this tool is used for? Lifting drains. Ah. Uh. Right. How did you know that? Work experience course at school. Uh. It gives me a choice of going down the drains or up the chimney. You're kidding. Yeah. Do you recognize this matchbook, Maguire? No, sir. I never seen it before in my life. You like to seed things, don't you? Give me your hand. Get <laughs> lost. Oh, come on. I just want to show you a little trick. No way, mister. I don't do tricks. Not Father like a hooker. Father told me I'd burn in hell if I did. Oh. I just want to shake your hand, that's all. Oh, all right. <laughs> gotcha. Neat, huh? Didn't feel a thing. <laughs> sure you didn't. What about this? What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing. Oh, you didn't say it was disgusting. See you later, kid. Okay, mister. Guess what, mister? I'm not a kid. I kept telling you. I'm like an old man. You idiot. Oh. Magically closing door. Magically? Magically. Whoa. Hey, dude. I like your, your specs. Um, hello. I'm. Um. Whoa. Mr. Fitzgerald? What? I need what? to speak with you urgently. We're all the Scottish people. Oh, sorry. Irish people all voiced by the same person. Um. <clears throat> What's the problem? Can I get you another drink? Oh, no, thank you. I shouldn't be drinking at all. Mm. I'm on tablets of my nerves. More than a pint and I'll pass out. Mm. Interesting. Did you work at Professor Pegram's dig? Excuse me, sir. Can <laughs> you please stop coughing? McGuire says you did. Ooh. You don't believe that damn hooligan, do you? Why not? His probation officer could tell you a tale or two. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Could you please stop coughing? Or sneezing or whatever you're doing? 
Have you heard about the gem which Pegram found? I heard a rumor, but you can't believe everything you hear or see, can you? What about Pegram? Where can I find Professor Pegram? I heard he's gone fishing. With the fishes? What can you tell me about the castle? There is nothing there. Just an old ruin. How old? I really couldn't mm. tell you. Interesting. Have you ever explored the castle yourself? I mm. used to play there sometimes, when I was a kid. Then mm -hmm. one of the little ones fell off the wall, broke his head and died. Oh. We didn't go there anymore. You haven't been up there recently? No. Oh, sounds like someone's a little liar. What did this red nose suggest to you? Blood. Why is that? I used to bleed a lot when I was a kid. Oh. Every time there was a playground scrap, I'd end up with a bloody nose. I wouldn't have minded, but I wasn't even involved in the scraps. <laughs> Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Uh, no, uh, at least I don't think so. Look closely. He has a scar on his face. And the most no, vomit I'm sure I don't know. ever. Check out this pass. Yeah, it's yours, is it? Not exactly. Do you recognize the name? Thomas Merlin. No. Never heard of him. But it sounds good on my accent, doesn't it? Moylan. What do you think this tool is used for? Uh, something to do with horses? Wrong. It's for opening manhole covers. Oh, mm, really? Like your pants. Well, you learn something every day. Mm. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. What about... Shake my hand. Get my buddy. It's a trick, isn't it? Damn Get it, you're my... right. I can't seem to fool anyone. Except for Maguire. What does this tissue suggest to you? Well, nothing. Apparently, the the Irish people don't think it's disgusting. See you later. They they reserve that comment for the French. Ah, oh. get to go and tell you this one or two things, sir. Hi there, old timer. Ah. What? Nasty cold you've got there. As soon as the words left my lips, I regretted them. Just is there such don't a mind. thing as a cold which isn't nasty? Yeah. I put the question to Father Mahoney. Father, says I, why were we born to suffer snot? So we can put what it on George's say? pants. He said, it's my reward for being out all night like a sinner. Oh, no. Oh. Stop sneezing I my crotch. Bring. Anyway, this is no ordinary cold. It's the hay fever. Polynosis? Thank you. You're not a policeman, are you? Uh, Excuse me? Police. No. I'd know it if you were. How? Do you know Pegram, the archaeologist? That's the scrawny fellow who was poking around at the castle, isn't it? Yeah, that was. Can you... Oh, stop that. No, I don't know him. Okay, well, tell me more. Were you aware that Pegram was conducting an archaeological dig? I don't meddle in other people's affairs. They don't interest me. Oh, the danger is with me is my sneezing. Do you know where I can find Pegram? I told you, I never heard of him. Hmm. Everyone's quite closed about this man. Can you tell me how to get into the castle? Don't even think about it, me bucko. Lockbarn Castle is haunted. Oh, That's goodness. what the kid outside told me, but I don't believe it. Then you're a fool. <gasps> I am a fool. Have you ever seen the ghost? It's a pity to the fool. Sure. With me very own eyes. When? Can you describe the ghost? It was horrible. A wee stunted beast. Long beak. Straggly, flappy wings. Big bird? Are you sure it wasn't a wild animal? A rabbit or a skunk or something? Skunk? In Loch Marl? That'll be the day. I don't even know what that word means. No. That was a ghost, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure, but to be sure. I think I know what you saw on the castle wall. <gasps> I know what I saw. I don't think so. It was the kid, McGuire. What? He was up on the wall last Tuesday night. He thought you were the Phantom of Lochmar. Oh, 